As we all know, mountain bike clothing can be ridiculously expensive, but it doesn't all have to be. In this video, I'll be running you down the top things to spend money on on your clothing products in mountain biking and the things to save on on your clothing products in mountain biking. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe down below, and I hope you enjoy. So the first thing that you can easily splash out on that you don't need to is goggles or glasses. Now you only really need to wear these for a select amount of time if you have a especially wet autumn or through the winter usually they're best to wear because it basically just stops the spray going in your eyes. As you only wear these for a short amount of time, there's not much reason to spend over a hundred pounds on on goggles or glasses because you you don't wear them for long so what's the point i think a good price range to aim around is 30 40 or 50 great british pounds or around like 60 or 70 us dollars whereas i think that's just the right amount where you can get decent protection they don't fog up and good like technology on them uh, and they're without them just being like swimming goggles i wouldn't rule out getting used goggles because you can just if there's scratches on the lens then i wouldn't really get those but if it, they just fog up a bit you can treat them with some muck off cleaner and um, and it's like a helmet and goggle cleaner and it just it does the job and if you just spray some of that onto some old goggles or glasses it will do the trick and they'll be brand like brand new moving on to a place to spend and it's shorts now people don't realize this but it's actually really really important to get a solid pair of mountain bike shorts and not just wear like cut off denim shorts because if you're riding out and about whatever and the crotch bit of the short which is too baggy for you catch on the front of your saddle it can actually cause you to go over the bars and no one likes getting injured so i'd recommend getting a decent pair of mountain bike shorts i got some off the mountain bike uk deal which is now ended but i'm sure you can find a decent deal out there um if you want to buy used then you can there's nothing stopping you they're on sites like pink bike or ebay i reckon you can get a good deal for used mountain bike shorts but it's whether you really want to wear someone else's used shorts but you know they, they they've used a chamois before so you know it's your it's your choice but i reckon a good price range to aim at is around 60 pounds you don't need to spend over a hundred pounds which you can find yourself doing for our american friends that's around 80 dollars or over 120 dollars something like that so i'd say shorts is a good good place to spend on another place you can find yourself splashing loads of cash on which you really don't need to is jerseys now you can easily find yourself spending over 80 pounds on a jersey and you just really really don't need to all you need to get is a fox tech tee i don't actually have me on one right now it's in the wash but i'll put a picture on screen now and basically it it's not fully cotton like this t-shirt because don't get a fully cotton t-shirt because it doesn't wick away sweat and stuff but with a with like a tech tee like mixed mixed fibers it helps wicks away it wicks away sweat really well and you only have to spend about 20 pounds on one so 20 pounds is a good price range or about 30 dollars and if you're in the winter months um over in america or australia whatever it is now and you're really cold when riding all you need to do is to go to like a local sports shop like sports direct in the uk and just get like a like a like a skin like something you wear i don't know or something you wear when you're swimming if you want to cover the top half just get a skin and wear a long sleeve t-shirt over the top and that'll do the job don't just rock up to your local trails just wearing a skin because you look a bit stupid but yeah all you really need for the winter months is a skin and a long sleeve t-shirt and from the summer months a uh, poly uh, mixed fibers t-shirt like a fox tech t-shirt going back to where to spend and it's about all forms of protection when on your mountain bike so whether you're doing cross country or downhill you need a solid pair of knee pads now this is this can vary there's loads of different types you don't want to be wearing a massive big bulky plastic protected one when you're doing xc rides because they'll just get too bulky and you'll just start sweating loads but on the flip side of that you don't want to be wearing really really thin almost no protection knee pads on downhill rides because that could get nasty so i'd say as a kind of rule of thumb get a decent pair of knee pads now i have the fox launch pros with the d30 foam in them and they're really really good so i'd highly recommend them and they're around i think they were because mine came with the attached like shin guard uh they were around 90 pounds so they're not that expensive 
uh, and you also get a nice little mud guard on the top of the packaging which is nice so good price point to start at if you look around a bit is around 70 pounds or 90 dollars with this bracket of protection is helmets now we all know that helmets are just dead important because they save our heads and a decent helmet will set you back around 80 pounds so you want to spend on a helmet 80 pounds or 100 dollars because the difference it can save your life if you wear a decent helmet you want one with good rotational force uh, protection like MIPS uh, I talked about MIPS in lots of videos just go and look you'll, you'll find one in one video so you want something not that bulky and quite breathable for all types of trail riding whether it's an open face or a full face those are the two key components and for the last one it's another spend I know mountain biking is an expensive sport and it's quite annoying but the last one is some to get some decent flat pedal mountain bike room to choose because this will just help you loads if you get just Nike running shoes the if you wear decent flat pedals then it will literally just rip up the foam off the bottom of your shoes I've said this lots before on other videos so make make sure to get some decent mountain bike shoes I went for the 510 Freerider Pros and I'd massively recommend them they are quite a lot of money they're actually a lot of money, they're 120 Great British Pounds, or I think $140 in the US, but I just, they'll, they'll last you forever, it's like park tool tools, they will last you forever. The, I haven't had any problems, there's been no wear, and I've had them for about 8 months, so, you know, they're, ma I massively recommend 510 Freerun and Pros. I don't think there's any better mountain bike shoe out there. For this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, feel free to leave a like and subscribe down below. As I mentioned at the start of the video, it would really help me out. I really just want to say also two massive thank yous. One, for getting me to 100 subscribers in four months, which is my goal for the end of the year. It's absolutely mental that you not have done that. I can't thank you enough. And my second thank you is for getting two videos of mine over a thousand views, which is just insane. It's I it mesmerizing. I just I, this is like something I dreamed of since I was about six years old, getting a video over a thousand views, and you lot have done it. Thank you all so 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 much. My goal is now two hundred subscribers by the end of the year, and I feel like that's easily achievable with what you lot have achieved over the past four months. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>